night everyone i hope you had a wonderful day as always i am grateful to god today because he has once again given me an opportunity to praise his name in the form of prayer yes i have a new shirt i heard all the comments about the yellow shirt so i decided to change my shirt and change the way the video comes so hence red for the blood of jesus which is able to cover us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness but tonight's prayer is that um God would be with us, especially those who are feeling the pressures of this lockdown and the difficulties of probably being isolated without being able to visit others and to see their loved ones or not being able to go to work, whatever the pressures are that's causing them stress. Our text comes from Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 2, and it says, When thou go through the waters, I will be with you. And the rivers they will not overflow you when you walk through the fire it shall not burn you and the flame shall not kindle on you let us pray our most kind and ever loving father our Savior and our friend the one who seeks out our good regardless of how we treat you tonight we are utterly grateful to you because you have been merciful to us You've kept us once again through another weekend and spared our lives to see a new week. You've provided for every single need that we have and you have kept your word as you have said. We give you thanks. You don't take care of us because we are faithful to you or because we do what you require of us, but because of who you are and because your love you look out for and you continue to be with us. So we continue to thank you for your faithfulness, your love, your mercy, and your grace towards us. As we come tonight, God, we are asking you to be with those persons who are feeling the pressures of this lockdown and the restrictions, the physical distancing and staying at home, not being able to go out, maybe go to the gym or go to the park, go for walks, socialize with their friends or their family members. I pray in a special way, O oh God, that you will be with them and that you will strengthen them. I pray that you'll remind them that this fire that they're experiencing right now it will not destroy them. If they put their trust in you, they will be okay. I pray that you'll remind them that if they feel as though they're going to lose their minds or they will be hopeless, I pray that you'll remind them that if they keep their minds on you, you will keep them in peace, that they can trust in you and know that you will see them through. I ask God that by your Holy Spirit, you will reveal to them new ways by which they can connect with you, new ways in which they can, they can be restored and revived and energized. And maybe they can't do something that they usually would, but there has to be another activity that you can reveal to them that could be beneficial and help them mentally, physically, emotionally, otherwise. So I thank you, God for being with those who many of us also probably thought that this would have been over by now but as we sit here we really don't know when it will be and so God I pray that as we continue to wait and we continue to seek I ask that you will be with those persons especially those who are finding it difficult to continue you died on the cross for our sins and that was not an easy task but you held on until the very end so that our salvation can be accomplished. I pray that you will remind every single human being that the strength that you had from the Father is available to us. And nothing can be impossible to us if we put our trust in you. So help us to remember that in our own strength we may be unable to accomplish, but in the strength and power of the Most High God, we can do all things. So keep our minds, keep our hearts, keep our emotions, and keep our eyes focused on you. And help us, God, to walk day by day, knowing that you have already walked this path and you know exactly what the next step will be. We leave ourselves in your hands and we trust you, God, to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. We continue to give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory because you alone deserve our praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Have a good night.